Okay, so you guys aren't gonna believe this. We're here at Drive Savers. These guys, they recover data off of drives, um, phones, the clean rooms over here. Basically, if it's got data on it, these guys recover it. And they, they, they turn to me and they're like, look, we know you're not here for very long, but I mean, we don't normally do this as part of the tour, but do, do, you, wanna get, do you wanna get suited up? And do you wanna rip apart a hard drive and do an actuator swap in a real hard drive in a real clean room? And I'm like, what kind of stupid question is that? <laughs> That's like asking me if I wanna tell you about uh, Synergy. Synergy 2 makes sharing one mouse and one keyboard between multiple computers so simple and seamless that anyone can use it. Check it out now and learn more at the link in the video description. Sorry, I don't do that. Oh, they're making a face. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be a nice, nice YouTuber. So inside here, it's certified to be less than a hundred thousand point one micron particles per cubic meter of air. So it's like ten thousand times cleaner. Regular room. Oh, this is hot. Here we go. Oh, that's a heavy door. So the whole room is positively pressurized. They've got, uh, I think it's 35 fans running, pushing air constantly downward. Look at, look at this stuff. SSD, PCB, you know, no big deal. It's freaking crazy. One and a half terabyte forensic. One terabyte target. Two terabyte targets. Dang, this place is big. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. Uh, so I actually don't know where I'm going. Right here. Cool. How are you doing? Is this, is this my station? This is going to be your station, yes. Sick. Have a seat. Come on up. Thank you. Is this like a special clean room chair? It is. They are all class 100. Wait. Yeah, I'm okay. It's really slippery. <laughs> okay. Maybe your suit's like better than mine, but like, <laughs> I'm serious. I can... Okay, hold on. Okay. It's like, yeah, this guy can't even sit in a chair. How's he going to fix a hard drive? Look, some of us don't do data recovery every day, okay? Yeah. He's like, this is the most boring part. Like if I bleed in here, is it a, is it a, is it a contamination problem? In here, the theory is that it is so clean that I don't need to seal the drive back up. Is that right? Like, can I just run it open? Correct. Can we run this one without the lid on just this to one, show it doing it? This one it? we cannot. We cannot. This drive will not run without the lid on. Really? It just has like a sensor or something? No, it has a little nub on the lid, which kind of allow, puts a little bit more pressure on the actuator to keep it down so it keeps it level. Oh, interesting. So it's not just uh, it's not just a pretty face. It's no. The lid is actually functional. So what you see here, this notch right here, sits on the actuator right oh, there. Oh, wow. Right. So it actually holds the entire actuator assembly well, it down. Just gives you a little pressure from the wall, correct. Oh, interesting. So, so check this out. So you've actually got four read-write heads because each of these platters can store data on both sides here. Uh, what else can we say about this? So, so this guy right here holds these in place this when it's off. Correct, this is what we call the off platter parking ramp. So the read and write heads actually like are basically like they're flying over these spinning platters. And these are going at, you know, up to 7,200 RPM these days. They used to go higher in some cases. Uh, but on consumer drive, this goes up to 7,200 RPM. And it's basically like a, like a fly flying around in a hurricane, like 12 inches off the ground. Like it's, like it's stupid. So anytime you're not actively reading or writing data, you want them like out of the way because if these contact there, then you got to send your drive to drive savers, <laughs> period. And anything they touched, you ain't getting that back. Actually, that's one of the scenarios where you might have to do what we're about to do, which is an actuator swap, where if it accidentally makes contact, the metal shards inside are so damaging that they could just tear apart these tiny fragile heads. Okay. Hit me with the next step. Oh, it doesn't say do not eat on it. But that is definitely desiccant and you definitely shouldn't eat it. You shouldn't eat anything in a hard drive. Look at this, my hands are shaking. That's as steady as I can hold it. I'll just get some 
two-handed assistance in there. Thank you. All I would have to do is drop this screw, conveniently non-ferrous. Oh, probably for a reason, there's magnets in here. Duh. Do people typically get this right on their first try? Negative. Cool, all right. Well, I'm excited then. I wanna do it. You can pop that up, yep. Just a little bit, jiggle it loose. Okay. All right, is that? Yeah, oh yeah. Cool, all right, let's do that. Let's put that aside over here. Yeah. Next step, you're gonna remove the actuator stopper. Whoa, yeah, you can really feel it like when you, Oh, it really like snaps into place there. Okay. And the stopper is this black guy right here? Correct. Okay. You're gonna hold that right there without letting it fall off. Yeah. And get this transport cone. Yeah. And set, keep the head separated, which is a version of this that we had made in-house ourselves. Very cool. So what are you gonna do? Set, keep that, slide that between there and try to get the- You bet. Did I kill it? Not yet, not that I know of. Um, <laughs> is it probably dead now? Possibly, but let's, you know what? Let's let you continue with it like this first. Okay. And does it matter which way you go? No, you want to bring that off close to the edge a little bit. Close to the edge. Oh, too far. Oh. No, right there's good. Or a little further off. Crap. No, they touched. Did they? Yeah. I am sweating up a storm in here. This is so stressful. See, you're not putting the bottom one in one. I am in. No, you're, the bottom one is on the very bottom. That's what I'm telling you. Oh, no, I didn't, yeah, I didn't get that. I thought they oh. all had to go in one. Oh, no, yeah, the bottom one goes in one. That's why, uh. Let's try it again, sorry about that. Okay, well, if your guys' goal was to make this look hard and like we should let professionals do it, then mission accomplished, I suppose. Sure, whatever, no problem. Can I have the pliers? <laughs> I'm weak. Uh, and, and hold the magnet at the same time, because all of it has to come out at the same time. Yeah, I gotta switch hands, I didn't think this through. Okay. Ah, where do I put it? Place it straight down on the table. ESD mat, no worries. Okay. If I just wanted to know for sure if I killed it, could we try it? I can tell you right now that we did. I can oh. I see the head stack is bent. Uh oh. The tip of the head right here is bent, which is creased upwards like this. So they should be flat out this way. Right now, it's really flat this way. You got it coming up like this. Here, have a look at that pillow. It's the bottom one. It curls up a bit. It curls up. What that's going to do, okay. put that into a good drive right now. It's going to scratch up the bottom, pl uh, the bottom the platter. It's going to scratch up the bottom platter on size zero. So now when we started this video, the intent was to just take a platter out of a working drive, put it back in and demonstrate that it still worked. What we're ending up with is that in order to fix this drive, we need a donor drive because this is actually a very common failure. I mean, not an idiot opening your drive and bending your reed head and right head or whatever, but just, just a, a platter crash. Failed actuator assembly, thank you. And I'm gonna try this again, but like super more carefully this time. And I know how the combs work. All right, I'm gonna try and be more organized about these this time. So this is step one. I wanna do it right this time. I don't like failing at stuff. So you've done, I was told over 50,000 of these. Whatever the boss man says. Any oh, new trainees, they gotta do about 3,000 before they touch a customer before product. Before they touch a live drop. Wow. There you are. Okay. Now what we're gonna do before you even do anything else. Yeah. We wanna label our donor drive. Oh, okay. Let's put a DS on there for drive savers. Where? Right on the magnet here, please. DS. Isn't that redundant if I put it here? Yeah, but you know okay. what? It's better safe than sorry. I don't wanna give the customer back his wrong part. Right, okay. Or swap the wrong actuator and image the wrong drive. Got it. Okay, let me think, hold on, this guy, right? No. No, oh shoot, hold on, let me think. Oh no, this guy. Correct. Okay. Man, the pressure's on. I feel like this is like, you know, the ninth inning of the big game or whatever, like, I, yeah, now I, I put on the comb, right? No. Oh crap, okay, hold on. Do I, do I take these out first? Correct. Oh, my arch nemesis, we meet again. Not quite yet. Mr. Co oh, damn it, hold on. And I gotta hold this, right? No, the, While uh, I do it? That, that one. The e block. Okay. Ah, Mr. Comb, we meet again. Okay, did I get it? You're good, you're bold. Ah. Oh my God. Okay, now what? I'll put that down on the side. On its side? What does that mean? Just flat on the table somewhere. Oh. Okay. Okay, you watched it. What do you think are my odds? Uh, I think you got a pretty good chance. Come on, you get you, you don't 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 cheat me here. You gotta give it to me out of a hundred. 
I'll give you about maybe a 65. 65? That's kind of high. 65 is high? 65 is quite generous. Oh. Well, that's not that good. Okay, what I do wrong specifically? Just a lot of wiggling? Yeah, a lot of wiggling. Oh. Uh, the cone, when you're removing the part, removing the actor off the donor drive. Yeah. That's basically it. But like I said, a lot of people, you know, before anybody touches any live drive, it's typically 3,000 swaps before they get to touch the customer's job. Right, okay. And that's, this is one of the reasons why. Right. Oh man, my hands are still shaking like crazy. I would say I've never been more stressed to find out if a hard drive works, but I definitely have. Anyone who's seen the uh, Wanix server video will know that. It's there. Okay, so it's detected, but that doesn't tell us that much, does it? It tells us that's a, good, that's a great step. Okay. Oh, enter's okay. But would K work? Theoretically, yes, right? I would assume so. Let's try it. Hey. Hey, you learned something today, too. Yes, sure Hell is. yeah, man. Oh, what do you guys think? Okay, okay, no cheating. If you're gonna leave a comment on the video, guessing whether I got it or not, you have to do it now. You can't do it after. That's cheating. Wait, we didn't clean the platters. Does that matter? It's okay, we're in the clean room. <laughs> oh, the waiting. Wait, hey, hey. And we're is that good? That's good, green is good. Green is good. So we are imaging right now. So it is telling me it's imaging a three terabyte drive. That's your total block count right here. We're right into an eight terabyte target. Yeah, could so it would take nine hours. Roughly, roughly. Now, this is how it should work. It but should we be. consider this a very good first step. This is a very, this is excellent for the physical aspect of the drive. So we saw, we've seen no even pink so far. No, no yellow. Red, no yellow as of yet. Up as of yet. Wait, did you see, oh. So, so get get B-roll of that, B-roll of that. So there you have it, guys. We're only 0% of the way through. So, you know, it's hardly completely conclusive, but we are tentatively calling the operation a success which is really exciting, it's all green so far. However, I do need to be very clear that this was a best case scenario. We had two working drives that had never been opened before. So even though I personally broke the, <laughs> the heads on one of them, we knew that the rest of it was good. There was no firmware uh, corruption, there was no media damage, there was no heat damage or whatever else these guys might deal with on a, on a daily basis. But I'm still really excited about it and I'm still really grateful that I got the opportunity to try this out. And you know, I'm also really grateful to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace lets you build your own beautiful website. You just pick one of their gorgeous templates, start filling in your own text, your own images, whatever it is you want. Squarespace has a template that'll work perfectly for you. So whether you're creating a website for a restaurant, uh, a local sports team that you run, or you want to create your own online store, every Squarespace site includes their commerce module. Squarespace is the way to go. So head over to squarespace.com LTT. We're going to have that linked in the video description and try it out today. If you need some help, they've got 24 seven tech support and the trial is free. That's squarespace.com LTT. And if you use our link, you can also save 10%. So thanks for watching guys. If you dislike this video, then you frankly kind of suck. But if you like this video, hit that like button, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured. I don't know, hard drives, also have a link to drive savers down there because those guys were totally badasses for bringing us in here. Um, also, while you're down there, you can check out our merch store. It has cool shirts like the one I'm totally not gonna show you because it's totally covered in this suit. And uh, we got a link to our community forum, which you should totally join.